bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. And some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm. Pointy. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. He used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Here's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. The 
disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> happened the fences are on why the hell would he turn the fence on he knows we're out here ah! Ah! I told you what, you what the get to the gate get down. You asshole. Jesus. we had an agreement now you're fucked who the fuck is that no idea fuck now what with the fence on that gate it's our only way out we had an agreement now you fuck! I already got one of you! You got lucky that time! Get down! Look at that! Blades are stuck in the dirt! I see him! Damn! This fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the shit! Moon. You really think you can fuck with us? Behind the tracks! I can do this all day! They're not on the way out of What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. Get out of here! You lucky sons of bitches! 
Damn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Damn it! Doug said this place was safe. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's gotta watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Hey, Clem, you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? Push me on it? Maybe later, okay? Oh, okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay.
Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed.
see anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Found it. See anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fuels. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Looks like they expected to be here a while. your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. 
Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. 